Forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, technically, we've got this severe thunderstorm watch for a good chunk of the viewing area until 10, but I guarantee you this is going to be canceled early, and I'm not too concerned really about a severe weather threat. I tell you, if I really thought we were going to get something out of this severe, but uh, the front has already moved through Lafayette, so the front is right along where you see these scattered showers and storms. So most of the area is now pretty much in the clear except our southern counties for any sort of scattered storms. But there's a broken line here. Notice a little shower here near Galveston. Working off to the southeast, this will move into southwest Miami, northern Howard County here soon. A little shower just starting to pop here west of Frankfurt on Highway 28. That may grow and bring a little shower to the Frankfurt area here soon. A little thunderstorm here south of Concord. Uh, looks like it just passed through near the Romney area, working east southeast, where this could clip Colfax here pretty soon and pass just northeast of Darlington. And a heavier little thunderstorm here right close to the to uh, Newtown. This is dropping southeast towards Wingate and eventually New Richmond. And another little thunderstorm here near State Line City. This is going to move out of the viewing area eventually. May uh, move into Covington here within about the next hour. You can see that thunderstorm down towards Newtown right now on our tower cam, a Renaissance cam in downtown Lafayette. Notice the shafts of rain here at the horizon, the big cumulonimbus cloud, the thunderhead growing right along that cold front. Notice temperatures are cooling a little bit north of the front. 83 Winnemac, 84 Remington, 87 in Lafayette. We hit a high of 88 today and it was day 24 at or above 90 along I-74. We hit 90 at Crawfordsville where it's currently 88 degrees. So a few very widely scattered showers and storms for the evening hours, mainly our southern counties where the front is dropping southward, but we'll be down to 71 by 11 o'clock and in the clear. So there you have it, a few evening storms, cooler and but really much less humid tomorrow, even into Thursday. Dew points are going to be way, way down, so it's actually going to feel cooler than the actual air temperature. And it looks like another weak little front may slide through, bring a few scattered storms on Saturday. Tonight, though, cooling off 62 Lafayette, 61 Monticello, 59 Winnemac, 63 Crawfordsville, and 62 at Frankfurt. And tomorrow, a good looking day. Just some cumulus clouds bubbling up in the heating of the day, but no rain expected. A pretty nice northwest wind up to 25 miles an hour. So there's going to be a nice breeze all day. Low humidity and highs generally about 80 to 85. 83 Lafayette, 81 Monticello, 84 Waveland, but only 79 way up north towards Star City and Madaryville. And the same thing on Thursday, generally about 80 to 85. Still low humidity and again, a pretty brisk northwest wind. Notice on future cast again, any scattered storm will pull out of here, then fade away for the evening. And tomorrow, just a partly cloudy day and we'll be mostly sunny on Thursday. Notice though, we're in that pleasant range with the dew points Wednesday and Thursday. Gets a little more uncomfortable Friday and sticky on Saturday with some scattered storms around before it turns a little less humid, turns comfortable by Sunday. Seven day forecast. Notice the average high temperature now is around 83 or 84. We'll actually be close to that tomorrow, but still kind of running a little bit above normal for the rest of the week. A few widely scattered storms Saturday. Otherwise, Jeff, generally speaking, highs in the 80s to right around 90, especially towards the early part of next week. So no upper 90s in that forecast. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's what sticks out. You've got more 80s in the forecast uh, the seven day than 90s. It's about time. Feels good. Okay, yeah. thanks, Chad. Well, with stocks uh, becoming increasingly in unstable, more and more people are buying gold. But is that a solid investment? We'll hear from one investment advisor.